you've been working in science for well forever you're currently doing your PhD research which is really exciting by the way all about elephants if I'm yeah. right and trying elephants and their conservation and um, but of course you know it's it's been it's not always been easy for women in science to kind of get that platform to get their foot in the door and to make themselves heard when it comes to this kind of stuff of course more recently things are obviously massively improved but I mean what's your experience been like working in STEM and in science communication and education yeah you're absolutely spot on and I I I'd be interested to know if we have quite similar experiences because obviously growing up you you of course read about and you read all about the, the literature on these amazing uh, female scientists Sylvia Earle and you know Diane Fossey and um, Jane Goodall of course but then I through navigating a career in science it's always really great to have people you can look up to you know in around you in your environment and those who who are working within you know your university or within your school i mean when i studied at university um uh, dr lucy hawks she's a uh, uh, yeah she inspired me and i still remember her she was studying uh, the flight patterns of the roller coaster flight patterns of bar-headed geese along the uh, in the himalayas incredible and i she is a, a woman in STEM and woman science really sticks out to me. And um, I'd, I'd be interested to know if, if that was the same for you, actually, that throughout moving through STEM, you kind of pick up on people around you and you don't realise actually how important it is to have a woman who's inspiring, someone that you can look up to in that field. Yeah, absolutely. I think it goes a massive way to, in having somebody, you know, a woman that you can you know relates to and and can be inspired by and you can go to for advice I think you know I, I've always had amazing quite amazing women in my life um who have done you know incredible things you know one of my ultimate heroes you know are people that I've worked with like Ruth Peasy, Ruth Tinge who work on different issues in the UK around persecution, rap persecution and, 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 and you know they're you know they're easy and I've always learned I've always learned I've been able to build them but you know there are many there are many you know I don't have that inspiration and we need to kind of encourage that and get more women interested in science and um, STEM sounds, you know, science, technology, engineering and mathematics and for me that as a concept was quite scary as a young girl because I hear mathematics, you don't have to be good at them all. I'm really not. Honestly, you give me a math <laughs> equation, I'd, I'll be sitting here for hours. I can't, I'm awful at that. Um, but it's about kind of encouraging and empowering young women to get involved in science, I think, because it's a different yeah, perspective. Yeah. I know, I know. It's, um, it's, it's on many it's levels, I think, getting people, young women, to know that they can actually be a scientist whatever it, be, it, it, it may be I mean in earth sciences or, or biological sciences I would say that there's a there's more women than say in IT sciences or perhaps computer sciences and you know IT te technicians etc um but yeah it's 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 about a creating a space where people can feel like yeah I can do that and there are people around me who, who I guess I can look up to and, and follow the lead on with that but actually then retaining those women in science long term having the institutions and and the organizations providing what what women need to you know go on have children and then stay in science continue to be scientists etc cetera, etc cetera. and the other thing I would say Meg actually is um creating a community of, of inspiring women on this level as well across science communication and people like yourself people like Lindsay on something like this actually you don't know how powerful that can really be for other young women watching so um I mean you are an inspiration as is Lindsay and I think this something like this is really fantastic to celebrate that so yeah creating a, a positive community of women is, is super important but on every single level yeah it's keeping the conversations going isn't it? isn't it and as you said it's about retaining scientists in in various different fields you know I was looking at university um statistics last night and it's about 50 percent you know now undergraduate level are women um but then only about 34 percent of postgraduate people that go on to study PhDs are are women so it's you know a massive drop off at that point and it's interesting to kind of be able to understand why that is um and, and to en encourage more women to get involved in you know, in the science of it all which is a yeah yeah yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, a positive kind of message ultimately is that, you know, if you're watching, if you're a young woman thinking you can get into science, you absolutely can, you know, have that confidence in yourself that you can bring so much to that field for sure. Thank you so much for joining us, Lizzie. Really appreciate you joining us this morning. Uh, Lovely to see you, as always. Lovely to see you, Lizzie. We'll speak to you very soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.